Hello, my name is Ankara. This powerful CD will take you on a journey to Karnak Temple in Egypt and beyond to your past and future lives. Karnak is what is called a light portal, which can give you access to parallel dimensions for what exists within our own time frame and others. Time is not linear as we experience it on Earth. Time coexists as past, present and future in one. If you think about it, the decisions you make today shape your tomorrows just as yesterday shaped today. There is only now, as many spiritual teachers have said. This is the moment of decision and creation, the moment of power. This power brings with it responsibility, for you co-create your reality. This co-creation also affects others and your environment. However, your beliefs and attitudes are learnt and can be changed. That's the beauty of creation. We can change. So what are you going to co-create with the universe today? How do you want to shape your world tomorrow and in the future? You may never have thought of your life that way, but consider it for a few moments as you begin to relax. In ancient Egypt, Karnak Temple was a center of power in Thebes, which is now called Luxor. Its reputation as a center for learning and spiritual growth spread across the land. Today it still carries a powerful energy signature and esoteric knowledge embedded in the very stones of its body. The mighty obelisks at Karnak have become a virtual library for all those who seek knowledge from the past, knowledge we can access for our learning in the now. Find somewhere comfortable to sit, where you will not be disturbed, and put any phones on silent. Light a candle and incense if you wish. Choose a crystal to hold and start to relax. We are going on a magical journey. Imagine you have golden cords growing from the soles of your feet into the earth. 
Each time the roots reach deeper and deeper into the earth, you are becoming more and more relaxed. As the cords reach the center of the earth and wrap around a beautiful crystal, your feet start to relax, then your calves. All the muscles in your thighs start to let go of any tension. Just imagine all the tension in your body being washed away down the golden cords. Your back starts to relax and your shoulders drop down. Each muscle holding tension relaxes as you breathe slowly and gently. Imagine you can breathe into the tension in your body and dissolve it completely. Visualize a beam of light going into the area of your body that's tense and dissolving it and with it all the stress. Your jaw starts to relax and your face. Now your neck is relaxing and any burdens you carry are set aside. Just leave all the stress and worries of the day outside the door. Imagine an angel or favorite pet is guarding them for you until you finish your journey. Perhaps there is a suitcase you can put all your stress and worry in, all your burdens and decisions, and give it to your angel or favorite pet to guard it for you. taking on a journey to Karnak Temple in ancient Thebes. You arrive at the steps of the temple and with each step you take towards the entrance you become more and more relaxed. You are so relaxed your body feels lighter and lighter as you climb the steps. Six you're getting more and more relaxed and peaceful. Five, your body feels calm and relaxed. Four, you feel safe and warm and relaxed. Three, you feel the energy of the temple surrounding you, lifting you higher and higher. Two, you start to float into the temple. One, you arrive at the entrance and a beautiful priestess greets you. She is dressed in gold and black robes of Isis. Her hair is long and dark. She smiles and asks you to enter. You follow her past the stone pillars into the hall. You see the lotus blossoms and the crystal floor. You look up and see the sun in a perfectly blue sky. You walk on behind the priestess feeling more and more relaxed and calm. If your mind wanders at any time, just imagine your thoughts as balloons passing by. Don't grasp onto them. Just watch them float past without judgment. Priestess is taking you into a room. It is small and warm. In the center is a deep green altar made of crystal. You see a candle in the center of it and beautiful. 
beautiful flowers. Smell the perfume of the flowers as you gaze at the candle. The priestess asks you to place your palms on the altar. You do this easily and without fear. You feel lighter and lighter, as if your body is no longer physical. As you relax and enjoy the moment, you sense or see a deep blue light beyond the altar. This is the great goddess Isis herself. She's taking physical form to communicate with you. You feel her energy soothing and healing you as you relax even deeper. She places the sign of the ankh on your forehead. As your memory opens up, to past lives. You see or sense yourself in a past life now, easily and clearly as the energy of Isis surrounds you. A date comes into your mind. This is the date of your birth in that lifetime. You see or sense yourself as male or female. You see or sense what you're wearing in that lifetime. You follow yourself to where you lived. Perhaps you will meet your family and see people you knew in that lifetime. Perhaps there are people in that lifetime which you know now in your current life. Now you understand what work you undertook in that past lifetime and how it benefited others. See or sense how others saw you. Be aware of their feelings towards you without any attachment. Understand what your soul was trying to learn in that lifetime. Maybe you will open a book and there will be writing. Your soul's mission in that lifetime clearly before you. How do you feel when you read this? Now the great goddess Isis is giving you a blessing and clearing any karma from that lifetime to set you free. You feel the burdens lifting away from you as you relax even deeper, more and more relaxed with each breath. The picture changes as you stand in front of the altar. A blue-green light starts to swirl around you. You become aware of another lifetime, a lifetime in the future. The picture starts to form in the blue-green mist, and you see or sense what you are to become for your soul's journey in the future. See or sense if you have a physical body, and if you have, whether you are male or female in that lifetime. Be aware through one of your senses if you are wearing clothes. 
You may have incarnated on Earth or another planet. Start to become aware of the environment you live in. And as you look into the mist of time, does it seem familiar to you? This is a future life you have planned. A guide will give you a scroll. It will show you what your mission is in that future lifetime. Perhaps you have taken something forward from this lifetime to complete. Be aware of what that is and what you could do to change this as you relax into the soothing, healing energies of Isis. going to move away from the altar of Isis and walk out of the room towards the black scarab. With each breath you take you're becoming more and more relaxed, more peaceful and serene. Feel the energy of Karnak moving around you as you walk in the sunshine towards the scarab. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin as you glide down the path towards the scarab. In ancient times, the scarab was a protector and talisman. The black scarab represents an integration of dark and light, a wholeness of being. As you walk slowly down the ancient pathway, you see the scarab in front of you. It faces the lotus pool, reaching out across the waters of destiny. The scarab rests on a marble stand, and its black and gold body shines in the sunlight. It is a huge statue, and you walk up to it breathing slowly and gently becoming even more relaxed with each breath. Touch the smooth surface with your fingertips. What do you feel? What emotions come up for you? Be aware that emotions are neither good nor bad. They just are. Be honest with yourself. There is no one here who will censor you. As 
as you face the magnificent scarab, become aware of a being of light beside you. This is your master guide, who is here to help you discover your path and purpose in this lifetime. The guide calls on the great god Osiris to come forward in the mists of time. And he appears to you carrying a stone tablet. What is written on that tablet? Can you sense or see the writing? Take a moment to tune in to your intuition. Your master guide places an ankh, the key of life, around your neck. Take the ankh to unlock a place in your heart which you have kept hidden. You may feel emotions and if you do so, breathe slowly and gently until they leave. Imagine them flowing away like clouds. Osiris is handing you the stone tablet, and as you touch it, a great healing energy surrounds you. This energy will help you discover your true path and purpose in this lifetime. Sense or see letters or words coming into your mind as you receive the gift of healing from Osiris. feel as you discover your life purpose? Is it something you already knew and pushed aside? Become more and more relaxed as you leave the scarab and turn towards the sacred lake. Here priests used to bathe every day as part of their temple rituals. Imagine what it was like in ancient times as the lake with its lotus blossoms beckons you to come nearer. As you move towards the lake, you feel more peaceful, more relaxed as the water ripples in front of you. You are mesmerized by the beauty of the lake as ancient palm trees reflect in its surface. Take a walk around the lake enjoying the serenity 
feel that peacefulness grow in your heart space. Allow yourself to relax even more. Deeper and deeper relaxed. Find a quiet space to sit by the lake. And as you await the great god Osiris, son of Isis, relax even more. As you sit, you become aware of a falcon circling above you. The falcon comes to rest beside you as you sit by the lake feeling calm and peaceful. You watch as the bird transforms itself into the god Horus with his mighty crown and staff. He gives you an ancient blessing as you become more and more relaxed, more peaceful and serene. He is asking you to let go of that which doesn't suit your true path and purpose. As you relax, think what that is and decide if you are willing to let it go. If not now, when? Horus is asking you to forgive those who have wronged you in this lifetime. Are you able to do this? See or sense the people who have hurt you and cut the cords of anger between you with a mighty staff of Horus. Be aware of how you feel as you do so. Are you happy or sad? Relieved or anxious? Breathe slowly and gently as you release yourself from these bonds that tie you. Now Horus is giving you a gift. This will help you in this lifetime. Accept the gift gracefully. If you cannot see or sense it, it will come to you at a later time, perhaps in a dream or in meditation. As you walk away from the lake, you feel peaceful and relaxed. You walk back to the temple where you started, easily and slowly, enjoying the scent of the lotus blossoms as you do so. Once you reach the temple, take the steps down. One starting to feel your body as you walk. Two, becoming more aware of your breathing as you continue to walk away from the temple. Three, starting to feel your fingers and toes. Two, bring yourself back into your body and feeling the cords down to Mother Earth grounding you. One, you are fully aware and awake, back in this time and space. When you are ready, you can open your eyes. Now take a few moments to write down your experience.
experiences as you sit quietly and relax. time to end the session. Take three deep breaths. And then close your journal. It is time to start your day again. Om Shanti.